Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming shows and anime. Cell is one of the coolest characters in Dragon Ball Z. He's a fan favorite villain, so why hasn't he ever came back? Maybe we'll get to see a new type of Cell from Universe 6. Maybe he can compete at the Multiverse Tournament. Who knows, let's hope so. But anyways, today I'll be showing you guys 10 awesome facts on Cell. Let's begin. Number 10. Funimation gave the character Cell three voice actors, one for each form. This became an issue with most video games with Cell using the same voice of Imperfect Cell for all three forms. They never did fix it, although I can't say it's their fault for going with the original style which is using one voice actor for all three forms. Number 9. Even though Cell is not from an alien race, there are a lot of different forms of Cell that we've seen in video games. Number 8. The Cell that we know is from another timeline and he's killed two incarnations of Future Trunks. The first was in his imperfect form when he stole Future Trunks' time machine, and the second was when he was in his super perfect form and appeared to everyone's surprise. Number 7. Ironically, Future Trunks has also killed two incarnations of Cell. The first was when he went into Dr. Dro's cave with Krillin and he destroyed the larval form of Cell. Then the second time was when he went back into his own time and took out the imperfect Cell that was in his timeline. Number 6. Toriyama did not like drawing Cell because of all those black spots that he constantly had to put on every Cell drawing, so this could be the reason why Cell never came back in the series and we instead got more Frieza and only small cameos of Cell. Number 5. Ever wonder what a god form for Cell would look like? In Dragon Ball Heroes, the character Genome is capable of taking on a god form just like the rest of the avatars. His god form appears as a red version of the perfect bio android form. Number 4. There's one area in Cell's body that never changes throughout Cell's adult forms. It's the black diamond shaped area in the center of his chest, which is also the same as in all of Frieza's forms. Number 3. In the Cell Saga, Cell claims that he's immortal. Now, if you remember how he managed to fit into the time machine, that was because he reverted back into his larval form. That means he could just do this over and over like the immortal jellyfish, which is a sea creature that reverts to younger stages of its life to reset its lifespan. Number 2. All four forms of Cell had some sort of characteristics of the Z fighters who challenged him and his personality. Imperfect Cell is sneaky and calculating like Piccolo. Semi-perfect Cell is vain and arrogant like Vegeta. Perfect Cell was laid back and only wanted to fight powerful opponents like Goku. And Super Perfect Cell is hot-headed and cocky like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Number 1. In Dragon Ball Online, Toa resurrected Cell and she placed him inside a capsule to regrow. She modified Cell into Cell X. Time later passed by and Cell X grew impatient and escaped. He stayed in an abandoned cave behind a waterfall where he turned it into his own lair. Cell X created an army of Cell-like bio-androids and sent them all to collect energy for him. The Time Patrol eventually finds his lair and takes out his army including Cell X. Well, that's the end of this list. Hope you enjoyed the crap out of it and if so, leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I post up a lot of DBZ content and if you like Resident Evil, Mortal Kombat, or Batman, I got you covered. That and more of course. See you all tomorrow and remember to have an awesome day.